Recently, I set up my entire desk to my perfection, and today I'll give you a complete tour of my desk area. So there's a lot of tried and tested things here that I've been using for a while, but I've also got some pretty cool new additions too. Okay, so I have a dual monitor setup, and this one in the middle is the studio display from Apple. It has a 5K glossy screen, which is super sharp and looks really good, I love it. And then the vertical one over here is the Acer CB2A2K, and it has a 4K matte screen. So I'm driving both of these monitors with my 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. And I like keeping it opened on the side here, even though I don't really need three screens because the MacBook screen is by far the best screen out of all of these. It's got 120 Hertz HDR mini LED, which none of the other screens have. So when I want to watch a video or edit a video that's in HDR, I'll throw it onto the MacBook screen. But I also really like the trackpad and I use it specifically when I want to zoom in on things because I can control the zoom amount much more precisely with the trackpad than with the keyboard. Okay, so I have two cables connected to the MacBook and this first one is a Thunderbolt cable to drive the studio display, but it also provides power to the MacBook at the same time. And the second one is connected to my USB-C dock down there. This thing is like 18 in one, so it's super handy. I love how I can use it to connect a whole bunch of things to the MacBook with just one cable. Right now I have my vertical monitor plugged into the dock and I wish I can plug the studio display into it as well so that I'll need just one cable for the MacBook. But sadly this is more of a budget dock so it's not Thunderbolt. But I do like that it gives me many ports out here in the front. The MacBook does already have a bunch of ports and a pretty good variety too but I'm always happy to have an extra SD card slot and the USB-A ports are quite useful too since the MacBook doesn't have any of those. Now I actually attached a USB-C magnetic adapter to both of these cables because I do take my MacBook away from my desk a lot to sit in bed, do work outside, and these adapters just make it way easier and faster to connect and disconnect from my MacBook and probably helps with the longevity of these ports too. And a nice bonus is that the snaps are pretty satisfying as well. These adapters support Thunderbolt 4 and 100 watt charging, so they can be used with basically anything. If you've never tried a magnetic adapter, I highly recommend it. I love them a lot. I'll have this along with everything else that I talk about in this video linked down below. Okay, so my MacBook is propped up on this stand, which I just took out, and this thing is actually completely collapsible. To use it, you just pull it open like this. It's height and angle adjustable, which I really like, and also very sturdy. I think putting the MacBook on a stand is great because one, it brings the MacBook screen to my eye level. I also like having something to sip on while I work, and if I ever spill liquid on my desk, the MacBook will be safe from that. And as for my monitors, so I mounted both of these with a double arm monitor stand, and I really love having it like this. I highly recommend trying a monitor arm because it just frees up a lot of space on the desk, and it can really help make it feel less cluttered. So right now, I'm a comp sci student in university, and I also do YouTube, so a lot of my work is coding, writing, and editing. And having both a horizontal and vertical monitor is super helpful. This horizontal one is my primary screen, but when I'm working on a coding assignment, and especially when I'm debugging it, I like to throw it over to my vertical monitor because then I can see everything all at once without needing to scroll around too much, and that just makes everything a lot easier. Also, when I'm reading through super long things, like Stack Overflow sometimes, or looking at a spec sheet when I'm working on a YouTube video. I like to put those things onto the vertical monitor as well. So yeah, I do feel like adding this vertical screen to my setup has helped me be more efficient when I'm working. Being able to see everything all at once without needing to scroll is super nice. Okay, so underneath my monitor is my iPad Pro, and this one is the 11 inch model from 2018. Honestly, this thing has a really good 120 hertz screen, and I haven't really felt the need to upgrade. So I use my iPad for all kinds of things, like annotating my lecture slides for school, writing down notes, sometimes drawing as well. And actually the universal control feature just came out. So I've been playing around with that and so far it's been very smooth for me. I think this feature is really cool. I can directly move my mouse from the MacBook to the iPad and then use my keyboard on the iPad as well. But probably what will be the most useful for me is being able to move files directly between these two devices. This is even faster and more convenient than AirDrop. So I think this can definitely help speed up moving around my schoolwork files. 
Okay, and I have this cable, which is also underneath my monitor, and I mainly use it to charge my iPad, but when I'm not using it, I have it clipped to the rim of my desk with this magnetic clip. Normally, I would need to stick something like this to my desk for the magnetic clip, but my desk rim is actually already magnetic, which is quite nice. So whenever I need the cable, I can very easily grab it. But yeah, if you have cables hanging around your desk, I would definitely recommend magnetic clips like these because they'll make sure that your cables never fall to the ground. And as for my desk, so this one is a black standing desk from FlexiSpot and it has these height preset buttons, which makes switching from sitting to standing super quick and easy. Now, I must admit a lot of times I forget that this desk is even height adjustable, but recently I've been trying to remember to stand more often when I'm working. Now, this desk also has a thin drawer and I just keep a few miscellaneous things in here. It's pretty nice having this extra organization space. All right, so on the side of my desk, I have my little gaming corner. I have my PC, which I built myself last year, and then my Nintendo Switch in its dock, and on the corner of my desk, I have my Xbox Series S. So the Switch and the Xbox actually can't connect to the studio display, which is tragic. Right now, they're connected to my vertical monitor, and when I want to play, I do need to turn this thing horizontal, but it is pretty easy and quick to do because it's mounted on an arm. Okay, so I have a white mechanical keyboard and mouse, which go really well with the black and white theme of my desk. My keyboard is the V84 from Vissels, and it has silent red switches, which I really like the feel of. I also really love how quiet this keyboard is. I used to use one that was really loud, and at first, typing on a super loud keyboard made me feel kind of cool. Felt like I was hard at work, but over time I couldn't take it anymore. So I started wanting a more quiet keyboard, but also this keyboard has RGB backlight and I've set it so that it only pops up when I type. The lights are kind of pastel colored and I think it looks super satisfying. Now as for my mouse, so I used to use the MX Master 2S, but I recently switched over to the Razer Orochi V2 and not just because it fits into my black and white theme, but because it's genuinely a much better experience for me. This thing is a lot lighter and smaller than the MX Master, but the biggest difference is that it has a much better tracking sensor and higher polling rate. So everything just feels faster and more precise with it, especially on the 120 Hz screen. And honestly, the ergonomic shape of the MX Master really wasn't that ergonomic for me. It's designed to fill the entire palm, but that actually caused my hand to sweat more than usual. So I prefer claw gripping with this smaller mouse. I do kind of miss the horizontal scroll wheel on the MX Master, but overall, I've been really enjoying the more precise and faster feeling from the Razer. My mouse pad is the SteelSeries QCK. I actually only recently started using a mouse pad and I do really like it. It does make it feel less slippery. Okay, and behind my monitors, hanging on the monitor arm are these new pair of headphones that I got very recently. So these are the Sony WH-1000XM5s and I only got these a few days ago, so I can't really say much about them, but they do feel pretty comfortable. Let me know if you guys want to see a review on these. All right, so for the rest of the things on my desk. I have this acrylic frame and right now I just have a Polaroid of my dog in it. I got this from Muji and it's really cool because it's magnetic. And sitting at the bottom of my laptop stand is my MagSafe charger. This one is just a pretty cheap one from Amazon. Whenever I need to charge my phone, I just pop it right on there. Now, because I do want to stay well informed on both iOS and Android, I do use both the S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro. I do really like the iPhone's MagSafe feature. So I actually bought this thing from Amazon, which makes my S22 Ultra case MagSafe compatible. And I also use the MagSafe charger to charge my S22 Ultra. But I also found the cutest wireless charger for my AirPods Pro. It's exactly the size of the AirPods Pro's case and has this groove, so my AirPods sit super snug on it. Now, I also did some cable management, but not too much because this being a standing desk just makes cable management so much harder. I don't really see the cables when I'm sitting here and working, so I don't mind it too much, but I did get these Velcro cable ties to tie up some of the cables. They're really good, super easy to put on and take off. If you want to do some basic cable management, I do recommend checking these out. But yeah, that's going to be it for this desk setup. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, you can click here to see my last video. Also, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Here are the rest of my social media, so you can follow me on other platforms if you would like to. And yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. I really hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye!